the bound man. This brings us to the second assertion in your sub A bound man, why we are excited about Obama and why he can't win. Why he can't win. I'm going to quote you to yourself again. Barack Obama has to bargain. He has to give whites their innocence until they prove they are unworthy of it. This is what white Americans sense in Barack Obama. On pain of his personal integrity, he simply cannot be a challenger. Yet to be black, he has to exaggerate black victimization in America. Obama is today a bound man who cannot serve the aspirations of one race without betraying those of another. Explain that. Yes, that's right. If he, um, <clears throat> the black American identity is still, for the most part, grounded and challenging. You never give white people the benefit of the doubt. That's our power. Is keeping them on the hook, keeping them in, a, in a, keeping ourselves entitled and them obligated. Uh, well, here is Barack Obama becoming a superstar precisely by giving whites the benefit of, of the of the doubt. He seems letting to be, them off the hook. Letting them off the hook. He seems to be giving you know giving away the family jewels. He's he is he's uh, he is un completely undermining black power, which is based on challenging and, and, and challenging whites and white guilt and so forth. So he is a profound threat on that in that level, and that's why he's had so much difficulty um, garnering the black vote, getting getting accepted in the black community. Um, on the other hand, if 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 whites see him over here too much, uh, so talking about black victimization and 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 putting on the mask of the challenger in order to get the black vote they're gonna say we like you precisely because you don't challenge because you are an anti Al Sharpton that's why we like you and so then his uh, his his white support uh, begins to wane so he's he is caught there and um, and the only way out of that I mean the only the only his his only solution to that is always the bargaining solution become more and more invisible in, but you have a specific more, meaning when you say invisible. Now, here, explain that. You never reveal your, your inner self, your, your true character, your individuality, your self, your the, the the convictions that you really have, what you really believe. You, in fact, you take them out of all of all of your calculations, uh, and you put in only what is effective with this group or with that group. You become a shapeshifter. So, this is a retreat from Dr. King's dream that people, Americans, would be judged on the content of their character, not the yes. color of their skin. Barack Obama is in a bind, the dynamic of which is to make him hide the content of his character more and more and more deeply. Is right. that correct? Absolutely. Um, you know, we all know who Hillary Clinton is. I mean, it's, she's, she's, there's no mystery there. She's a post-60s liberal, big, big government. Government is virtue intervention. John, uh, John Edwards is a populist. Uh, who is Barack Obama? Good darn question. No, no one, no one. Uh, can no I one can I try something on you, Shelby? We've been talking about race, and um, maybe there is a way out. He Good. forget he forgets <laughs> about race, okay, and talks about economic growth. I know this is a, mm -hmm. but but he but this is what Barack Obama said. If he were talking about e economic growth, he'd still be in the Illinois state legislature. Well, hang he said this. He said this. He said this just a few days ago to some editors in Reno, in Nevada, where he's campaigning for the, uh, in the Nevada primary. Quote, I'm quoting Barack Obama. I don't want to present myself as some sort of singular figure. I think Ronald Reagan changed the trajectory of America. This is breathtaking in some way that he compares himself to Ronald Reagan. He just mm -hmm. tapped into what people were already feeling, which was we want clarity, we want optimism, we want to return to the sense of dynamism and entrepreneurship that had been missing, close quote. And you remember uh, Pat Moynihan was, uh, wrote a memorandum, which is still famous, when he was serving as Richard Nixon's domestic policy advisor, in which he called for a period of benign neglect uh, of African Americans, which sounded insulting, but what he meant was stop talking about race, economic growth, everybody will be better off. Mm -hmm. Or is this, am I this, am I lunging at this little sliver of daylight, or is this, is this Barack Obama just shape shifting again? It's it's the the problem the problem with that is that race is what brought him to the dance, mm -hmm. not not economics, um, and so he is he is the entire phenomenon um, is is explained in, solely by race.
I don't really know what his, and I don't think most people know what his economic uh, positions are on, on uh, much of anything. Closing quotation. This is very close to the end of a bound man. The challenge for Barack Obama is the same as it is for all free people to become an individual rather than a racial cipher. Close quote. Mm -hmm. Between now and November, can he do so? I, I can't. I can't imagine how he would how he would do it. No, um, and that's why I don't think he'll win because I think I think you have to in the end give the American people concrete reasons. Uh, to vote for you, you have to tell us what you want to do with the country. That's why I don't his his uh, his Reagan comparison is so so off the wall for me. Reagan knew exactly what he had these three things he wanted them. That's what, you vote for me. This right. is what you're going to get. I'll cut your taxes. Yeah. I'll take on the Soviets. That's Here's right. what I'll do. And and that's the end of it. And so you can take that or you can leave that. What what do I get with with Barack Obama? What I get is that vote for me for what I represent rather than for who I am or what I will do. So in, in other words, he's asking the American people to put this enormous amount of power in his hands without ever telling us what he's going to do with it. And some black leaders sense that white people will say, great, we'll vote for this guy once and we'll never have to listen to talk about race again. That, and, 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 that, and, and listen, they're right. I, and, and they're, they're right. They're right. Are, are they and not? They, and and I may have underestimated that. Uh, he might win on that, uh, on that alone. I, it, I would be disappointed in the American people if he did, but, but uh, the, there is, the point is that there is a hunger out there in white America. The, the Barack Obama phenomenon is about white America. It's not about Barack Obama. There and is it's this, not about black America. And it's not about black America. There is this need, this, this driving uh, hunger to somehow get this race thing resolved, to redeem the country, to get beyond it. And uh, the arc of Obama's political career has simply just come right into that hunger and that need, and that's, that's his, his phenomenon.